Hi everybody, I'm Susan from LVM Moore and I have a very quick video on uh, my reveal of um, Leather Surgeons. Uh, I received my off-white large uh, Fendi Peekaboo back from uh, Leather Surgeons and let's uh, basically uh, the whole bag had a bunch of uh, pen marks all over the bag front and back. The bottom was completely black and the top handle of the peekaboo was broken in half and so um, I got it today and let's see how they did. It comes in a box, which um, I already opened because I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Uh, the only thing that was missing was normally you get paperwork, uh, like in a little um, brochure kind of notebook kind of paper thing. Uh, and they also give you a certificate of authenticity, but it was not in the box. So I did email Jerry, he's the owner of uh, Leather Surgeons there in Philadelphia. And uh, I haven't heard back from him yet, so we'll see, maybe it just got missed. You know, things happen. So anyways, uh, and also comes in this really nice um, dust cover. It's pretty substantial. It's pretty thick. It says Leather Surgeons on it. You can kind of see it has like a, a tie rope. Let's get that out of the way. Leather Surgeons. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's Kind of burlappy, so it's pretty nice stuff bag actually. All right, I'm go ahead and pull out my Fendi Peekaboo and see what it looks like. It's off white with pink python or snake. The handle, they fix the handle. This part was completely broken, so it looks really nice. Uh, the feet, all this was black. They cleaned that up. They did a handle replacement or fix with a handle reglazing, and they also did a spa treatment. So it looks uh, pretty much amazing. All this had big pen marks like somebody uh, was doing art on the bag and this is lambskin. So it's all white now. It's off white but it's beautiful. Feet are good. Let's see what the uh, inside all the um, yeah look at all the hardware Wow, look at the inside. It's all shiny. This was all like uh, tarnished. It was pretty, it was in pretty bad condition. That's why I got it for so inexpensive. Because this bag retails for about $4,000. This is from 2011. There's Fendi there. There's the pink python. But it's not, it's pink, but it's kind of subtle. It's kind of a pinkish purple. This is the large size. And this handle was all messed up. So it looks pretty good in comparison to what it did look like. And I'll try to um, insert like a before and after. I'm not too good at that, to be honest, but... And let's see what the inside, inside looks pretty doggone good. Mm. Alright, that's the zipper part of it. 
And let's see this side. This one still has a little bit of marks, but not bad compared to what it did look like. This was, this is the inside. This part was completely black. It was just all rub marks, black. The hardware looks pretty good. The inside is pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of like a suede. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll see what happened to the paperwork. And, uh, but that's my reveal on my off white peekaboo in the. I would consider this the large size. I wouldn't consider this medium. This is pretty big. See, it's pretty good size. And this is the front. In the front, it has the zipper. The zipper it holds. This is an iPhone 6 with the AutoBox um, case on it. It slips all the way down. You can put it opposite way. You don't have to stand it up. And this would definitely hold a laptop. This is pretty big. But yeah, I would highly recommend uh, Leather Surgeons. They did an excellent job. This bag right here was pretty much black, trashed, broken. Uh, and I'm really amazed that they got it this good, this clean, because it was pretty black. And the ends um, by the feet here. See, they're all white now. These were all black. All the, on the ends here, these were all black. Pretty amazing, actually. And this is lambskin. This is kind of hard to deal with, basically. You have to kind of baby this one. But they did an outstanding job for what they had to work with, basically. There was a lot of stains. And especially the pen marks, it just looked like some somebody went crazy on the bag. So, yeah, so I'll put some uh, pictures on um, uh, Instagram. So kind of give you more of an in-depth. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, they did an excellent job, actually. So go ahead, that's it for this video. I do have uh, series three coming out, uh, repair or not, that's the question. Uh, and that will be featuring my Petite No Way. Uh, thanks for all your comments on series two on my Speedy 30. I do appreciate, appreciate it, please just keep them coming. Uh, I'll try to answer as many questions as I can on the repair process and why I had my things repaired. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not, but I felt at the time that it was worth it to me because the canvas is vintage and I like vintage ca canvas over the new canvas. For quality reasons so I felt that even paying a little bit more it was worth it but some don't so that's why I'm having the series so you can decide if you feel that the repair is going to be worth it to you so go ahead and like subscribe and thanks again for watching have a good day bye now